been six months since offensive lineman Sebastian Tritola's touchdown pass put his name into immediate Heisman Trophy consideration. But for those involved, the memories still ring clear as ever. After we saw that play for the first time, I was having a conversation with our recruiting director, Tom Luganville, and he said to me, Dari, what I tell you a few years ago, when this kid comes out of San Bernardino, he can play any position on the football field. And he showed us all that with that incredible touch on that touchdown pass. What well, was running through my mind when I made a decision to chest bump Sebastian, quite honestly, was survival. When I first saw the play, I was like, man, that's one of the greatest plays I've ever seen. But now after watching it, really, it's just kind of getting old. At the beginning, it was awesome and cool and everything, and I was really happy for him. But now, it's really going to his head. I don't know how anything gets through that head of hair. <laughs> he says he brushes his hair with greatness, but it doesn't really look like he brushes his hair at all. From that day forward, a star was born. But for those who know him best, all the fame and fortune had no impact on the humble young man. I've talked to Sebastian many, many times since that play, and every time I talk to him, I am absolutely just blown away by his incredible level of humility, despite the incredible superstar he's become. The guy just exudes modesty. Admiration rolled in for Tritola, not only among the media, coaches and fans, but with his fellow Razorback teammates as well. Hey, hey, sandwich, you do it. Yeah, it's all right. Anything else we can do for you? Yeah, better sandwich next better time. sandwich. Ever since that play, Sebastian's just been terrible to be around. Skedaddle. Despite the national hype Tritola received throughout the season, the Heisman Trophy finalist list was released, with one name clearly omitted. I was watching the Heisman Trophy ceremony, and when I saw that Sebastian didn't win it, uh, I was just like, this can't be good. Man, that should have been me. Unbelievable. I mean, I was beside myself when I found out that Sebastian didn't get invited to New York. Did they see the pose? Did they see the play? Did they see the design of the play? If I had a vote, he'd been in New York. And you know what? I know something about voting and selecting. You think Heisman, you think that guy I think Jeff Long really should have stepped in and, and done something serious about that omission. He said, what? Dari, I don't see you up for a Sports Business Journal Award. Why don't you let me do my job and I'll let you do yours. He may not hold the bronze statue, but his name is sure to be etched in the hearts of Razorback fans for decades to come. If I'm Brandon Allen, and I know all quarterbacks love touchdowns, when we get in that low red zone, I'd be very concerned. The list of iconic Razorbacks is extensive. From Frank Broyles, to Jerry Jones, to Ken Hatfield, to Darren McFadden. Only the chosen few are written on such a list. But one more name is sure to be added. Sebastian Tritola, a true Razorback legend.